Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you another movie review your way. As you guys can tell by the thumbnail itself, I am doing Jake Gyllenhaal's newly released on Prime Video, I'm surprised in hit theater, Roadhouse. It's a remake of the Patrick Swayze classic from the 1980s, I believe, which is phenomenal. If you guys haven't seen it, go see that. So they did this. You got Conor McGregor in this. I think it's directed by Lineman himself, Doug Lineman, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, for the most part, it's two hours long. It's streaming on Prime Video as of the 21st, I believe, of this month. And I had a chance to watch it. A little skeptical going in to see, is this going to be any good? Why did he put it on Prime Video and not in the theaters and stuff? Anyways, gave it a try. I can honestly say... I liked it. It was good. Like, I enjoyed it. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, like I would say, almost near the end, uh, I guess, 30 minutes left. Point that they could have got rid of a whole bunch of that mumble jumble for no reason at all. A little lull, but then it picked up again. Um, very different take from the original. Um, I don't know, like, this one involved drug cartel, boats, rich guys, you name it. The criminal element takes place in Florida. It's a UFC fighter who does something a little crazy, and then he has to go under the radar. You see him kind of like, you know, fighting at the beginning in a cage, or people are afraid to fight him because they know what he's he can do to them. But uh, all the actors brought it. It was good. Very simple storyline. Guy's in trouble, meets someone who needs his help, goes to a bar, wreck shop, then he gets hurt. And then you know what happens after. And then there's a little redemption story arc kind of thing there. But for what it was, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. Okay, put that spoilers there, guys, because I'm not going to keep you guys long. Holy crap. Jake Gyllenhaal is ripped in this one. Conor McGregor did a fantastic job for what he was played to do. He didn't seem odd. He seemed like he was like almost like a born natural, I want to say, for the role that he played, the bad guy muscles for hire kind of guy you got this rich kid who wants to take over this you know the roadhouse so you can build this condo smuggle drugs along there but this lady's so stubborn in this little town and so he hires jake gyllenhaal to kind of like help her keep her roadhouse pretty much so he does so he goes down there whatever the hell he wrecks shop at the beginning he looks pretty cool man it's like i'm telling you he's believable though he was a ufc fighter Something happened bad in the ring. He kind of goes underground, and everybody's scared shitless to fight him. So, anyways, that's his background. Goes, he meets this girl who's involved with, uh, in a, and indirectly with her father, who's a crooked cop who works with these guys. And, of course, they get into trouble. He's on his way out, and then here they're doing kidnap. There's a little girl at the bookstore that uh, is in trouble, I guess, in her hospital. The, low on times that he befriended at the beginning. He gave him a map of the whole town and shit. So, uh, Conor McGregor shows up, hired from this kid, this rich kid's father to clean up house, and holy shit, is he badass in this thing. You know, he got his Conor McGregor mannerisms, whatever. Wreck shop. Ends up going in. Beats Jake Gyllenhaal up a little bit. Not too much, but enough to kind of get him on his way out. Like I said earlier, he sees that the bookstore has been damaged. He's been collecting money from working this job, right? So he ends up going back. Hunts down Conor McGregor. Holy shit. What a crazy ass fight near the end. You got boats flying through here and there. People blowing up. Shit. Boats blowing up to tell you the truth. But the action's pretty good. Like I was really surprised. I I really recommend you guys check this out on Prime Video. They should have put this in the theater. I think it would have made a couple of bucks. Not maybe as much as we thought. But when you got Jake Gyllenhaal and even Conor McGregor, the draw. You want to call it that. It was pretty good. It was a very simple plot from point A, point B to point C, you know, and uh, it ended well. Is there going to be a sequel? There could be. They left it open for that. But Connor's the way Connor's character gets killed by Jake at the end. Holy crap. Stabbing galore after he gets stabbed. I haven't seen that in a long time. Only Rambo, I believe. The last Rambo was sly. I saw something like that. Vicious, you know. But I did not. I enjoyed it, you know? I highly recommend it. So there you go, guys. That is my quick movie review on Roadhouse starring Jake Gyllenhaal. 
and Conor McGregor. I hope you guys liked it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other reviews, my unboxing videos. You name it that works on the movie throne. So until next time, be the hell good. Stay off the king's throne, and I'll see you where? Right here on YouTube land. Take it easy, guys.